more and more people are looking to work from home these days and new smart devices are making the process easier than ever before. But this also means that standardisation is more important than ever before. We've been talking to Home Networking Champions UPMP Forum about this issue. So Scott, why are standards so important now in home networking? Uh, home network is getting more complex all the time. There's more devices talking to each other. There's a uh, higher consumer expectation uh, regarding ease of use and the, and the, the reduced complexity uh, to the consumer. So now it's uh, standardization can't be on an island of its own. It can't just be home networking. It, it needs to take into account devices outside the home, uh, as an example. Yeah, and I guess as it gets more and more towards more and more convergence, it's going to get even more complex. Indeed it will. Uh, today we have uh, different ecosystems out there. There's an the e-health ecosystem, there's the uh, smart grid ecosystem as examples. Automotive is another one. Uh, those are going to have to interact with the home network. So it's important for the standards bodies to work, not only do a good job for themselves to simplify and, and to ensure the devices interoperate, but we're going to have to work consortia to consortia in order to ensure that the consumers don't see any um, miscompatibility with um, the devices when they have to interact with their home network, as an example. And are you already working in all of these areas? You know, where does the UPNP forum fit in? UPNP currently has uh, both a smart grid working group and also an e-health working group. Uh, we are liaised to uh, the cons uh, Continua Consortia that's working on e-health. And so we are, we are trying to make sure that uh, the UNPNP device um, identification and control uh, is covered for those between those ecosystems. Now, e-health is an interesting new area. There's people, a lot of people talking about e-health. How how near is that to reality? Well, the consortia that's working on it's been in existence for I think about five years now, and uh, they've got devices that uh, are out into the marketplace. So you're starting to see more and more uh, that there's specific tablets meant for uh, health information. There's uh, programs coming out. There's more and more you're seeing the e-health pop up in the hospitals where everything's electronic. They don't have to have the paper sitting there and reading your chart. The, the chart is there and everything automatically upgrades to the chart. Just before we go, tell us a bit about the forum because I know you were established as long ago as 1999. Uh, what have been some of the, the work you've been involved in? Uh, we started, uh, there was no way for uh, devices to identify and, uh, and for different devices to control each other and so that was the first hurdle and since then it's gone, uh, just it's broadened I would say, it goes to gateways, it goes to device management, it goes to uh, IPv6 type of applications. Uh, so now we're starting to look at uh, even the cloud, you know, the home can, a network can't exist without the cloud anymore. So it's important that uh, we're able to identify that content and, and the devices in the cloud. Okay, Scott, well, thanks for talking to us at Total Television. No problem. Thank you.